Welcome to the File Aid for DB2 Using Selection Criteria module. Here you will learn how to specify selection criteria to limit the number of rows processed by various File Aid for DB2 functions. Selection criteria may be used to limit the rows available for not only Browse and Edit, but also for the Copy Utility, the Extract Utility, and the Print Utility. Criteria may be specified as Native SQL or by using a template provided by FileAid. The examples you will see will be used for editing, but the specification techniques are the same for all of the functions mentioned. Selection criteria may be saved, modified, and reused. For this reason, the dataset containing the criteria should be specified first. We will do that here. First, we choose option 0 from the File Aid primary menu, then option 2 from the User Parms menu. The dataset may be any PDS with a record length of 80. Here we specify show.sql, which is really userid.show.sql. The default high-level qualifier may be changed here as well. To set up the first example, we begin in the editor. We enter the hide command and proceed to hide numerous columns, then scroll forward and hide the remaining columns. Here we see the four remaining columns. We will specify selection criteria based on values found in three of them, credit card number, order type, and order amount. We will want to select for editing only those rows where the credit card number begins with a 5 and the order type is a purchase order and the order amount is less than $20,000. Let's have a look at how to build the corresponding selection criteria. We will begin by first using a template supplied by FileAid. We choose Temporary for the Selection Criteria Usage and Template for the Display Format. Pressing Enter to go forward, we next see the Edit Selection Template. The Select column may be used to select or exclude columns to be processed. No entries here results in choosing all columns. The order and ascending descending columns may be used to control the sort sequence of the chosen columns. Finally, the WHERE column may be used to impose conditions for choosing rows based on column values. Multiple conditions are ANDed. We will continue by building out the sample seen earlier. For the credit card number beginning with 5, we enter the SQL LIKE operator. For the order type, we enter equal purchase. For the order amount, we enter less than 20,000. Remember, multiple conditions are ANDed. To apply these criteria, we use the EXECUTE command, which is the default setting for F6. Here we see the result. Three rows qualified. The credit card numbers all begin with 5. All are purchase orders. And, scrolling to the right, we see that all of the order amounts are less than $20,000. Going back to the Edit Selection template, we enter the SQL command and that in turn displays the SQL SELECT statement that is generated from the template. All columns have been selected and the three conditions have been ANDed. 
It is important to note that we are in edit mode, which allows the SQL statement to be modified. Logic changes are allowed, including SQL statements that may not be built using the template. Here is an example, ORing the conditions. Leaving the editor displays a message and we press enter. The result shows that the logic change allowed more rows to qualify. We will now compare two options. Requesting temporary for selection criteria usage and SQL for the display format, we go directly to the editor on a pre-built SQL statement selecting all the columns from the table specified. Similarly, requesting temporary for selection criteria usage and template for the display format, we go directly to the template. Then, using the SQL command, we go to the editor, again selecting all of the columns from the table specified. In this example, we have modified the base query and added a WHERE clause with a subselect. Note also that the subselect is accessing a different table. While it is possible to add this subselect using the template, the WHERE clause area on the template must be scrolled to do so, making the environment shown here more convenient. In order to save the new query from within the editor, we create a new member of the show.sql PDS as shown here. Upon exiting the edit session, we press enter to execute the SQL statement. The results are shown here. You may at times want to modify a saved query. Here we see a request to modify, in display template format, the subselect saved previously. A warning is issued because the SQL cannot be reformatted. The request to modify and display in SQL format is successful. Here we request application of existing criteria. This is immediate. In this final example, a simple condition has been entered and the save command is entered from the template screen. A dataset specification window opens and we choose the same PDS and a new member name. From there, we are taken back to the edit options screen. There is a confirmation message to the upper right and the new member name appears on the panel as well. This concludes this module. Thank you.